AI is moving in unimaginable speed. We have robots that can now think for themselves and solve complex problems in the real world. We have an AI that can take any picture of a person or character and bring them to life with just a reference video. And an incredible video editor that regenerates your video based on text commands, perfectly transferring the original motion. I have been second to Joe my whole life in everything. And I will not be the person you settle for just because you cannot have her. And finally, the next generation of the world's best video generator is here. Before we start, I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and turn the bell on. First up, Google is showing us a huge update with Gemini 1.5. This isn't just a small step, it's a new milestone for robotics. Earlier this year, Google's robots were impressive, but they had a big limitation. Previously, these robots could only handle one simple task at a time. A researcher points out that their older model was tested over and over and over again just to put a single banana into a bowl, a very simple task. They were powerful, but they needed specific instructions for every single step. That old way of doing things is officially dead. Today, we're looking at Gemini Robotics 1.5 a brand new family of models powering the next generation of physical agents. These robots can now take on longer, multi-step challenges all on their own. Check this out. A researcher asks the robot, Aloha, can you sort these fruits into color matching plates? The robot immediately understands and starts planning. Wow, look how smoothly it operates. It's not just following one command, it's completing a whole sequence. So how does it do this? The key is thinking while acting. The researcher explains they enabled the robot to perceive its environment, think through the problem step by step, and then execute the entire multi-step task. This is a massive leap from just putting a banana in a bowl. Here's another one. A man asks the robot, Hi Apollo, can you help me sort my laundry please? The robot confirms and then gets the command to put the white clothes in the white bin and the dark clothes in the dark one. It starts sorting immediately, picking up each piece and placing it in the correct basket. It's incredible to see it handle soft, foldable objects like clothes. But here's where it gets crazy. The man swaps the baskets mid-task. The robot sees the change, pauses, and immediately adapts, putting the white cloth into the new correct bin. It's not just following a script. It's observing and reacting in real time. That's next level awareness. This is all possible because of what they call embodied reasoning. The model can now understand its environment more clearly and figure out what to do next to complete a task, even when things change unexpectedly. Now for a game, a researcher sets up a scene and tells the robot he's going to make secret changes. He opens the laptop, moves the marker, opens the glasses case, and swaps the pens. Then he asks the robot to reset the scene. The robot identified every single change and perfectly reversed every action. That is just insane. And it gets even better. With new agentic capabilities, Gemini Robotics 1.5 can use the internet to solve problems. Here, a researcher asks the robot to sort trash based on the rules for her location, San Francisco. The robot uses her location, searches online for San Francisco's specific recycling guidelines, and then correctly sorts the items into the compost, recycling, and trash bins. It's using external knowledge to solve a real-world problem. Unbelievable! One of the biggest breakthroughs here is learning across different robot bodies. As one of the researchers explains, they used to have to train a separate model for each robot. Not anymore. Now all their robots, from the humanoid Apollo to the bi-arm Franca and Aloha, are powered by the exact same model. The learning data is shared across all of them, which means they learn new complex tasks way faster. This is how we get a truly general purpose robots that can work in any environment, from logistics to your home. This is the future happening right now. Next up, we have Juan Animate from the Human AI GC team and Alibaba. What this AI does is pretty incredible. You give it a single picture of any character and it brings them to life, creating a high quality animated video by following a reference motion sequence. Forget static photos, this tool turns your pictures into moving, animated moments. First, they take a video of a talk show host and use it to animate this goblin character. Oh, great, that's what you want. <laughs> yeah. The expressions, the head movements, it's a perfect match. The result is just <laughs> hilarious. 
And here, they do the same with a character from a famous sci-fi movie, turning him into this menacing orc. Temporary constructs of a feeble human intellect trying desperately to justify an existence that is without meaning or purpose. The intensity in the eyes is spot on. It's not just about faces. Here, they take a video of a man acting out a scene and apply it to a completely different person. He's never had an original idea in his life. His only successful films were adaptations. The body language and motion are replicated flawlessly. And another one. You know, I should change. Why should I change? I've never even gotten to find out who I am. You want me to change? It perfectly captures the subtle movements and gestures from the source video. This is amazing for animators and creators. This is where it gets wild. They take a scene from the show Suits and replace the original actors with completely different characters. Rick Sorkin? Excuse me, Mr. Sorkin, you are five minutes late. Is there a reason why I should let you in? Look, look, I, look I'm just trying to ditch the cops, okay? I, I don't really care if you let me in or not. Mr. Spectre will be right with you. What? Can I get you anything? A coffee or a bottle of water? Look at this, the new characters seamlessly fit into the scene, matching the original lighting and tone. It's like a real-time casting change. Here's another example of motion replication. A man sitting on a rock in the forest, and they transfer his movements to a different person in a different outfit. The result is so natural. And look at this dancing demo. They take a video of a guy dancing and apply the movements to another person. This is perfect for creating virtual dance sequences, or even for fashion try-ons. They even did it with a scene from a Korean drama, replacing the actors while keeping the entire scene and emotional tone intact. They detest all unfairness and fight for justice, while showing great respect for the law. This is incredible stuff! It's not limited to real people, either. It can animate anime characters, perfectly capturing the nuances of their expressions. And here, it takes a character from an animated movie and animates his face with a real person's expressions. I have to know. The possibilities for animation are endless. Here's that guy from the earlier scene again, this time animated with a different audio track. For him, not because he wants to, but because he can't afford to live in the city, even though he is. The lip sync is perfect. Even beloved cartoon characters can be brought to life. The melting permafrost is just releasing gases, and then these gases is just increasing the warmth of the planet. The emotional range it captures is just fantastic. And this one is just hilarious. They've animated a lion character. I'd be thinking, well, let's just give up. Why don't, why don't we just let... The sync is perfect, and it's just so funny to watch. Here, they take a still image of an actress and animate it with audio from a completely different source. <laughs> Look at the subtle expressions, the sadness, the smile, it's all there. The AI can also replicate full body movements like this model's runway walk. This is perfect for virtual fashion shows. Or this girl dancing on the street. It captures the energy and fluidity of her movements perfectly. And it can animate Whoa. almost any character yeah. you can think of. Whoa. From a panda and a dwarf yeah. character, to the monkey king, a werewolf, a character from a famous <laughs> Chinese animation, a cat, and even this old man. Whoa. The range is just incredible. It even works with singing. Just a quick heads up, the next two demos feature songs, so the audio might be muted due to copyright. Here it animates a photo of a woman to match a singer's performance. I mean, because I grew up in New and here it takes a singer's performance and transfers it to an animated character. The lip sync and emotional delivery are flawless. This is a game changer for music videos and animation. Now for some comparisons. Here we have a reference video of a person performing some actions. Look at how Wan Animate compares to other models like Animate Anyone, Wan VAC, Runway, and Bite Dance's Dream Actor M1. The results from the others are either distorted or unnatural, but Wan Animate's result is incredibly stable and realistic. Here's another one with a famous <laughs> billionaire laughing. Some of the other AIs produce terrifying, distorted results. One face is pretty bad here. 
but one animates result is so clean and natural. It really captures the motion perfectly. Look at this dancing example. Again, the other models struggle with consistency and natural movement. One animate is just leagues ahead. For him, not because he wants to, but because he can't afford to live in the city, even though he is. And in this final comparison, the difference is night and day. The other models just can't keep up. One animate is just smoother and more realistic. Now I want to talk about Dream Actor M1 for a second. Here's a demo I made with it about five months ago using an image of Donald Trump. As you can see, the quality is amazing, right? It was mind-blowing at the time. But here's the catch. Even after all this time, it's still not released to the public. They showed off these incredible demos, but never open-sourced it. That's why WanAnimate is the real winner here. It's not just powerful, it's actually available for people to use. And the best part? You can try this yourself. One Animate is fully open source under an Apache 2.0 license. If you click here on their page, it takes you to their GitHub repo, where you'll find all the code and instructions. And if you click here on HF model, you'll find all the model weights on Hugging Face. To run it locally, you'll need a solid GPU. The team trained it on A100s, so a card with at least 16 gigabytes of VRAM is probably your best bet. Moving on, we've got an impressive open source project from Descartes AI called Lucy Edit Dev. This is a powerful instruction guided video editing model. Forget complex editing software. With Lucy Edit, you give it a video and a simple text prompt, and it can perform all kinds of edits, like changing outfits, replacing characters, swapping scenes, or adding objects, all while preserving the original motion and composition perfectly. It's an incredibly versatile tool. Here with the prompt, turn the woman into Harley Quinn, it completely recreates the video, perfectly matching her movements. Or how about turn the woman into Lego? <laughs> this is just wild. The motion is still perfectly preserved. You can also change clothing, like turning this shirt into a sports jersey. This is perfect for virtual try-ons or customizing products and ads. Here they transform a man into an alien just with a text prompt. The lighting and reflections on the skin are incredible. And here he becomes a bear. The AI is so creative and powerful. It's not just character changes. You can alter the whole environment, like making it snow in this scene. The outfit swaps are where this AI really shines. Here, they put the woman in a gothic black jeans and leather jacket. The results are amazing. Then they put her in a full clown outfit. It perfectly understands the prompt. And finally, a red bikini with an open coat. Again, flawless execution. This is perfect for fashion and advertising. Here's a crazy one. A woman in a bathtub is transformed into Spider-Man. This is just so much fun to play with. You can even change the entire action of a scene. It takes this video of a couple kissing, and with a new prompt, recreates it as a man eating a giant ice cream cone. The creative potential is limitless. And the good news is you can try it right now. Just click Playground on their page. Once you get in, just sign up, and then you'll want to click on Lucy Edit under Video to Video. Here I'll upload a sample video, and then I'll write my prompt, make her wear a red dress. You can see there are two versions, Pro and Dev. Let's go with Pro, and for the resolution, you can choose between 720p and 480p. Let's stick with 720p. When you sign up, they give you a thousand free credits, and for these settings, Pro at 720p, it costs 30 credits per second. Okay, let's click Generate. All right, here is the result. It did everything perfectly except for one thing. The necklace is gone. You can see in the original, she has one around her neck, but it disappeared here. And what's really weird is that it also made the man wear a red dress, which is strange. Other than that, everything is perfect. The movement is perfect and the background is perfect. Let's look at the scene side by side so we can judge for ourselves. Wow, it's perfect. I mean, it's just seamless. Now, what if instead of make her wear a red dress, we say make her wear a bikini? I have been second to Joe my whole life in everything. And I will not be the person you settle for just because you cannot have her. It did everything seamlessly. Wow, it's perfect. But one thing to note, when you upload a video with audio, the final output will be silent. It only generates a silent video for now. And for all you tinkerers out there, you're in luck. Lucy Edit Dev is a first-of-its-kind open-source model. On their Hugging Face page, you can find the GitHub, a playground to try it out, and the technical paper. The model falls under a non-commercial license, so keep that in mind. And if you want to run this locally, the full 20 gigabyte model runs best on a GPU with 24 gigs of VRAM. 
but they also released a smaller 10 gigabyte version that you can run on most consumer grade GPUs with just 12 gigs of VRAM, which is awesome. And finally, you remember last week when OpenAI dropped the bombshell that is Sora 2? The results are seriously impressive. Just look at this scene of a Viking ship. Hold steady, brace! The water, the fog, the motion, it looks like a shot from a Hollywood movie. Or this ostrich running. Whoa! Your hat. Hey, hey, give that back! Come on! That's mine! You hear me? My hat! Dad, it's running! Come back fast. here, you feathered thief! You're not gonna catch it! Oh, I'm trying! The realism is on another level. This isn't just a step up, it's a massive leap forward. And check out these videos generated with the new Sora 2 app. They have that vertical TikTok style format. The creativity here is just off the charts. Look at this super dog saving a man falling from a building. Oh! Ah, thank you, Rocket. I owe you my life. Oh, Rocket! Quality and storytelling are incredible. This is the best video generator out right now, period. But the big question everyone's been asking is, how much is this going to cost? Well, the pricing is finally here. OpenAI is offering two ways to get access. First, if you're on their pro subscription plan, it's $200 a month and gets you 30 video generations a day. The only catch is that there's a watermark for now, but I'm guessing they'll probably remove that in the future. But if you want to use it professionally without any watermarks, you can use the API. For the standard 720p Sora 2 model, it's 10 cents per second. If you want higher quality, the Sora 2 Pro at 720p is 30 cents per second. And for the full 1080p Sora 2 Pro experience, it's 50 cents per second. And I think that's it for this video. Which news did you find the most useful? I think all of them are mind-blowing, but if I had to pick just one, I'd go with one anime. The sheer quality and the fact that it's open source is a massive leap forward. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. And if you want a deeper dive into everything Sora 2 can do, I've got a full video covering all the insane details. You can check that out right here. Thanks for watching, and until next time, folks.